สวัสดีครับเป็น Good afternoon once again Monday the 4th of October 2021 and this is the English language briefing at the CCSA so Dr. p i s a m a i gave us some uh, updated uh, information uh, one of the main uh, focus of our vaccination drive currently at the moment is for children aged 12 to 18 to be fully vaccinated to be vaccinated so that they may Uh, return to their schools, and schools may reopen uh, in the circumstances that they are very used to, which is the physical uh, on-site learning. As for the different provinces, just to update that, the province of Phuket has seen a lot of, a lot of progress. Of course, Phuket is one of the uh, early uh, provinces that had been uh, into the sandbox scheme for uh, opening up, and in Phuket, actually, the current. Most current information in terms of the vaccination progress is that they have been vaccinating a high number uh, of people in the province, because the manner in which they vaccinate is uh, through intra, inter, intradermal, intradermal uh, vaccination. So therefore, we have seen quite an exponential growth in terms of the numbers of vaccination in the province of Phuket. Now, that's of course very good news. Now, for other parts of the country, uh, for example, in the southern part of Thailand, there still remains a concern, concern, particularly in some provinces in southern Thailand, in terms of the vaccination progress for those above 60, as well as those with the seven underlying diseases. Of course, these are the groups that are uh, the most vulnerable, the focus group. And in the southern provinces, some southern provinces of Thailand. The vaccination rate for these groups is still quite low, not as uh, satisfactory. Uh, around 20 to 30 percent of, in terms of the vaccination rate, in wherein the aim is to reach around 50 percent of those in these in these groups. So, hoping that this will be improved upon and uh, expanded in the future, so that the provinces in southern Thailand. Will not be faced with a high number of COVID infection in the weeks ahead. Now, in general, however, for the whole country, we are facing a sort of a downward trend in the number of cases, particularly in Bangkok and in some provinces. Of course, uh, aside from the provinces which we have been uh, focusing on in terms of the south, south as well in the south, and this has led to many relaxed measures uh, that are uh, in effect from the first of October. So I'd just like to uh, start off. Perhaps I'll start off with the general situation that you see on screen right now. So we have new confirmed case at uh, 9,930 cases, and we have active cases at the moment at 109,748 cases. We have new recoveries at 12,336, which is higher than the number of new confirmed cases. We have new fatalities at 97, which is a good number, not that high compared to other days. And the, accum the uh, uh, fatality rate now stands at 1.04%. So this is the daily number, uh, general situation that I have. I'll start off first with the recapping of the updated uh, quarantine period, the quarantine period, and we, we will have a slide coming up for you on that. The first slide that we have for you for the general meeting of the CCSA, which was chaired by the Prime Minister on the 27th of September 2021. Uh, this meeting approved the reduction of the quarantine period for travelers entering Thailand. The new measures are published in the Royal Gazette. They've been published on the 30th of September. And came into effect on the 1st of October 2021. So the quarantine measures for those traveling into Thailand are categorized as follows, and you can see on screen there in the white colored uh, infographic uh, there on screen. First is a group for those who have vaccination, vaccine certificates and have been vaccinated for over 14 days. They will be subject to a minimum of seven days of quarantine and two RT PCR tests conducted on the first day of arrival. And on the sixth or seventh day of quarantine. The second group is for those who have not received full vaccination traveling into the country via sea or air. They will be subject to a minimum of 10 days of quarantine and two RT PCRs. And the third group is, are those who have not received full vaccination 
traveling into the country via land will be subject to a minimum of 14 days of quarantine and two RT-PCR tests. Please note that the quarantine period for travelers under 18 years old who have not received full vaccination and travel into the country with their parents or guardians for those under 18, they will be the same uh, requirements. Like, so if entering the countries uh, with one of the parents or guardians with different vaccination status, all of them need to share the same room in the quarantine facility regardless of their vaccination status and will be subject to the same quarantine period as, as the uh, said person. After the Department of Consular Affairs temporarily suspended the issuance of COEs during the 27th to 28th of September at 12 p.m. to allow COE applicants to reduce the quarantine period upon arrival in Thailand according to the stipulated conditions under the new entry measures. The Royal Thai Embassies have now resumed the issuing of the COEs already since the 28th of September. Of course, this is the transition period uh, leading to the 1st of October, wherein the quarantine period was reduced. So the COE issuance uh, in the embassies abroad were temporarily uh, stalled uh, intentionally uh, in order to release COEs and with the information, with the note on the COEs, that the quarantine period has been reduced. So this has been carried out uh, smoothly and of course since the 1st of October, foreign travelers uh, coming in from abroad have been uh, notified and when they have uh, arrived, they have been quarantining in the new scheme, in the new dates, in the new days, number of days of quarantine, which of course is seven days for those who have vaccine certificates as mentioned. So just to recap the relaxed measures once again, so we'll have the second slide, slide number two coming up for you. So the CCSA has approved the relaxation of certain measures in the 29 dark red zone provinces from the 1st of October onwards, last Friday onwards. Just to recap that, the curfew time adjusted to 10 p.m. up to 4 a.m. for these 15 days, so until the middle of October. Gatherings of more than 25 persons are not allowed, and non-air conditioned eateries, restaurants are allowed to serve at 75%, and those with air conditioning is serving at 50%. Malls and department stores not opening after 9 p.m., so the closing time is 9 p.m., which includes uh, beauty salons, massage shops, beauty clinics, uh, cinemas at, as, as well, uh, closing at 9 p.m. So just to update on the Phuket uh, sandbox, the 7 plus 7 extension scheme of Phuket Sandbox. And we'll be having the third infographic there up to you on screen. Yes, the Phuket Sandbox. Just some recapping information there that effective from the 1st of October, last Friday, all fully vaccinated visitors coming into Thailand can participate in the Sandbox uh, programs like the sandbox program to Phuket, Suratani, Panga province and Krabi province. So this includes all nationalities from the 1st of October can join the sandbox uh, scheme in the provinces. Since the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Thailand has revoked the restricted list of countries and territories whose nationals were in the past subject to temporary ban on the entry to Thailand. So all nationalities now, no more ban, all nationalities now can enter Thailand in the sandbox scheme. Previously, if you recall, some countries in South uh, Asia, in the South Asian region, region uh, were faced with a temporary uh, ban because of the uh, severe uh, infection, spread of infection of COVID in the uh, region, in South Asia. So now this is, has been revoked. And now visitors, all visitors are required to stay in the destination of the sandboxes for seven days. Uh, it has been reduced from 14 days, now it's only seven days. And afterwards, after the seven days, they will be able to continue their journey to other parts of Thailand. All visitors are also required to undergo two RT-PCR tests. First on arrival, which is day zero to day one. And the second RT-PCR test is before finishing their stay in the stay period on day six or day seven. And on day seven, 
of the visit in the sandboxes. Visitors, uh, have, after having received a negative COVID test result, travelers can obtain this uh, document called the release form, release form from day eight to travel to other parts of Thailand uh, after day seven, so day eight. So they can travel with that release form. And please kindly note that in order to be eligible to enter Thailand in this sandbox pr scheme program, fully vaccinated travelers, uh, international travelers, still need to have all of their advanced arrangements for arrival and entry, of course. These include valid visas. These include uh, visas or the re-entry permit, the certificates of entry or COE issued by the Royal Thai Embassy or consulates, the COVID health insurance policy, the confirmation of hotel bookings, negative RT-PCR test results no more than 72 hours before departure. So good news for people of all nationalities, uh, particularly for those from coming from South Asia as well. All nationalities can join the sandbox scheme, but of course with the various uh, documentations required. So one last point is about the extension of the special uh, tourist visa. So I will have slide number four coming up for you on that. The Thai cabinet approved the one-year extension of the special tourist visa or STV scheme for long-staying visitors until the 30th of September 2022, next year. As proposed, as proposed by the Ministry of Tourism and Sports, the STV entails special permission for long-stay visitors to Thailand of all types from tourists to business travelers, to investors and other types, and tourists and crew of foreign cruises, ships and yachts. So according to the Ministry of Tourism and Sports, over the first year, Thailand welcomed a total of 5,609 long-stay visitors under the STV scheme. This was in the past year. And this will continue, of course, as mentioned in, the, in this year, uh, and the long-stay visitors being extended for this STV until September of next year, 2022. The STV scheme, of course, is a premium long-stay 90-day visa, 90 days visa, which could be extended twice for up to 90 days at a time. It was created in response to the growing demand uh, seen from the long-stay foreign tourists in various potential markets during the COVID pandemic, while at the same time addressing the necessary safety and health precautions in place in Thailand. Vaccination progress is continuing, as I mentioned in the beginning, in the province of Phuket in particular, intradermal kind of type of vaccination. And they have been receiving a lot of uh, uh, numbers in terms of the vaccination of the, the population there, which is very good. The numbers, aside from Phuket, we also have for the general, country, the general numbers for the whole country now, uh, cumulatively standing at 55, over 55 million doses. So since the beginning of this year, Thailand has inoculated over 55 million doses of vaccines already. Yesterday in particular, it was over 281,000 doses. So we continue to vaccinate a large number of our population. Some of the numbers might be the first dose, some are the second dose, but in total, over 55 million doses already. It's very good uh, progress that you see, you see on screen there. We have the total at 55 million. For the first dose, totally is 32 million. And for the second dose, we're fully vaccinated at 20 million. 32 million is 45 plus percent. And uh, second dose, 20 million uh, people is around 28% of the entire population. So we're underway towards the end of the year to reach our goals of vaccinating, vaccinating a large portion of the country, of Bangkok, of the other provinces around the country as well. So with your cooperation, this, uh, we hope that all our efforts will bear fruit. We, this has been a long uh, journey. It's been a long uh, battle for Thailand, for all of us living here together in the country. And we seek for your continued uh, cooperation and understanding as we continue to fight the COVID pandemic in Thailand. So with that note, I thank you for your attention and we'll see you again on Wednesday. Sorry,